All right, we're gonna do a special video for the Marine Corps birthday. We're gonna go over some of my favorite Marine quotes, some of my favorite Marine lore. It's gonna be great. And for those of you that don't know, the Marine Corps birthday is the greatest American holiday that most people don't know about. And once you do know about it, it becomes the groundhog for the entire holiday season. As soon as all your Marine buddies start posting memes talking about Semper Fi and how drunk they're gonna get at the ball, you know that the rest of the holiday season is upon you. It's only a matter of time until you get to start reading newspaper articles about how somebody got trampled to death for a $1 toaster on Black Friday. And then we all come together on Thanksgiving to do something that America Americans very seldom do, overeat. And then December starts, that wonderful, wonderful time of year where every single store in America plays Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas Is You, on a loop. And let me tell you, it will never ever get old or annoying or redundant or annoying. I blame Nick Cannon. Anyways, then we're gonna have Christmas, then we're gonna have New Year's, and then we all get to get the date wrong every time we write it down for the next three months while we quietly reflect on how many years it's been since we graduated from high school. What I'm trying to tell you is you owe it to yourself to go drinking with the Marines on the Marine Corps birthday before this shit show of a holiday season starts. Because if you've never been, drinking with the Marines is a phenomenal experience. <laughs> Really, it's a two-step process. Step one, show up. Step two, proceed to do whatever the fuck you want. Because guess what? If anything goes down, you've got a horde of Marines. Who's gonna stop you? I'll tell you who's not gonna stop you, the cops, because when they show up, one of them is a Marine. And they're not about to arrest a Marine or a Marine's buddy on the Marine Corps birthday. At worst, he's gonna tell you to have a good rest of your night. At best, he's there to help you hide the body, because that's just how Marines get down. So if you've never been drinking with the Marines, please, Please do it. And I know what you're thinking. What if I don't have any Marine friends? That's fine. Just go to the bar. They'll be there. How are you going to identify said Marines? You don't have to. Believe me, you're going to figure it out pretty quick. They'll tell you. I love them, but they are the CrossFit of the military branches. They are not about to let you think that they served in any other branch but the United States Marine Corps. Now, why is a Marine Corps birthday such a big deal? I'm kind of a big deal. Well, it's because the Marines are kind of a big deal. I don't know where to start with this, so we're just gonna start from the beginning. November 10th, 1775. Yeah, that's before 1776. The Marine Corps is older than the United States of America. They were founded in Tun Tavern, a bar. The Marine Corps was founded in a bar. I, you can't make that up. Just setting a tone right out of the gate. Speaking of setting a tone, pretty much every time the Marine Corps gets let off its leash, they come back with some new terrifying nickname that the enemy gave them. And that proud tradition started in World War I at the Battle of Bella Wood. If you don't know, super short, oversimplified version of history, the Germans were marching through France towards Paris. The Marine Corps shows up and is like, nah. They're able to push back the Germans once with the help of the army and the French. And then the French beg the Marines to retreat back to a more fortified position with them. To which the Marine Corps leadership responds, and I quote, Retreat, we just got here. They then proceed to don their gas mask and fix their bayonets as they go into one of the bloodiest battles America has ever fought. And the Marines do it so aggressively that the Germans begin to call them the Devil Dogs, a moniker that no one that has ever fought them since has disagreed with. Then we fast forward to World War II. World War II, everybody talks about Iwo Jima, and they should. Very poetic, very heroic, very romantic when they raise the flag. But my personal favorite Marine story from World War II is the Battle of Tarawa. If you don't know, Tarawa Atoll is the most fortified island the Marines have ever landed on. The Japanese add Admiral in charge of defending Tarawa is quoted as saying, a million men couldn't take Tarawa in a hundred years. To which the Marine Corps said, hold my beer, as 4,000 Marines proceeded to take it in three days. Yeah. Only one Japanese officer actually survived that battle, and in his journal, he described it as this. We could see the American landing crafts coming towards us like dozens of spiders on the surface of the water, when one of my men exclaimed, the gods of death have come. I'm trying to paint the picture that they built quite the reputation for themselves. A reputation so intimidating that during the Gulf War, Desert Storm, whatever you prefer to call it, the Iraq military was scared of the Marines because they actually believed that to become an American Marine, you had to murder a member of your family at basic training. Now that obviously is not true, by any stretch of the imagination, but I think it speaks volumes that an entire military actually believed it. The Marine Corps merely existing is a form of psychological warfare. And that's just when they're merely existing. They're way scarier when they're actually doing their job. Like for everybody, including their own chain of command. For example, during the Battle of Fallujah, the Marines got so many headshots that the United States military had to launch an internal investigation because they were concerned that the Marines may have been executing people at point blank. They weren't. They were just out there giving long range lobotomies at a rate that the American government didn't know was possible. Which adds even more to the psychological warfare aspect. I mean, how would you feel if you had to go up against a military force that you knew was under investigation for getting too many headshots? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say not great. And that is truly intimidation at its finest because everybody knows the most advanced militaries in the world offer their men body armor. Ain't nobody giving their guys face armor. The Marines subtly saying, I don't care how big your military budget is, you can still get it. I think Eleanor Roosevelt said it best when she said, 
said, and I quote, the Marines I have seen around the world have the cleanest bodies and the filthiest minds, the highest morale and the lowest morals of any group of animals I have ever seen. Thank God for the United States Marine Corps, end quote. And while I wasn't there, I'm willing to bet of the Marines that heard it, at least one of them leaned over to his buddy and said, I'd hit that. In conclusion, the point I'm trying to make to you is Marines make great friends and horrible enemies, and I would strongly recommend helping them celebrate their birthday. So yeah, go check out my website, buy some merch, quack bang out. I'm gonna go drink with the Marines. Okay, bye.